tonight, we are spending the actual night in Zuck's metaverse in VR. Sleeping in the headset and everything. Am I happy to do this? No. But we're giving it the pressure test. Is the future ready to get zucked? Maybe. Finding out. Welcome. We are in Zuckerberg Metaverse. First impressions. It, it feels kind of like VR chat crawled into a boardroom and took a Vicodin. Punch, motherfucker. He should take a couple Vicodin. I have a couple of goals. First goal, start a cult. Second goal, go on a date. Third goal, purchase property. And fourth goal, kill somebody. Because if I can't do that, then it's not the real metaverse, then is it? I'm gonna wander around for a minute and uh, eventually go through some of these goals and maybe find a place that we can spend the night, okay? I'll admit I was worried about the corporate feel, uh, but I got relief because immediately I found a group of weirdos talking about the way a breast feels. Explain how a breast feels, it's like a sandbag. Like that's every time. Is it not? It's like a, it breast feels like a bag of frozen chicken bones. Jesus. The first world you were prompted to visit is this place called the Plaza. Sort of a weird community park in the style of like roly poly oly. Am I a boomer? Okay, so, so far the metaverse as it appears to be, whatever this is, is whitewashed, corporate, you know, it, it's very odd. It's full of children and people who don't know why they're here. Just like Jeff, just like Epstein's Island. Some kid came up and like wanted to take a picture with me or something, which was really weird. And then I was off to try and start hitting some of my goals. My first goal that I was gonna try to accomplish was going to a comedy club. Whoa! In-world item purchase available. You can purchase items from this world's... Cr what? So this is a comedy club. This is one of the goals that I had for this vid. So let's see if there's real comedy in here because as I suspect, I think starting a cult will be easier. When I went to jail, I boofed eight subs of Suboxone and I sold that shit for almost a thousand dollars. I think everyone around this table would go, here, here, we all did. I boofed it. I boofed it. I asked too many of you. I put it in the fucking, I put it in the fucking. When you go to jail, you're gonna get cavity search. Cause he said, he said grab your ankles and cough, motherfucker. I say, shit. After a story that made me feel like I was getting strip searched, um, I wandered outside of the club and found something even scarier. When trying to start a cult, I ran into my first meta Karen. Recording video, I need one shot of everyone pretending to worship Mark Zuckerberg. Is that possible? Can you help? Uh -uh. Mark what about Tom? Tom? I mean, no. I forgot about Tom. Nuts. You guys got more. Buddy, what are you, what's your name? Real or go. fake or I'll otherwise or criminal? No, whatever. whatever. Yeah, just... Okay. Okay. So, we're all trying to you know, like have a good time here, and you have an agenda. All I said was, and, let's make a, I let's mean, all raise our here. arms and have fun and praise Zuckerberg. Is that a problem? So, right. Well, maybe. Well, maybe also. You're who cares? Not You're a being well, Someone's gonna be offended. No, You're all gonna say that's something. Not what I'm no, 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 you're not hearing me. What did you say? I'm just I'm, saying that I, I'm not, I don't want to do this for Mark Zuckerberg, okay? You don't have to. So, I'm not trying to make you. Are you in an armchair no, right no, now? What no, are you no. doing? What are you worried about? What am I doing? I'm sitting here talking to you. <laughs> oh my God. That girl was crazy. What the f After banishing that lady to another dimension, I went back to the plaza to kill some time and just chill out for a bit. By the way, if you're not subscribed, please do so. I'm putting myself through some real first world hard work here. Help make this worth it. While chilling out in this morose plaza where people were throwing paper airplanes, it had me thinking about the metaverse and all the fun implications of it. Firstly, and this might shock you, it won't. This isn't the metaverse, it's just an app. The marketing is real. VRChat has been doing this for years, and dare I say better. 
Even games 20 years old like World of Warcraft could be considered a metaverse, quote unquote, using their logic. While VR chat is very anime girl and kawaii, and WoW is very grindy with a dash of neckbeard, both have distinctly more charm to it. Meta has spent $2.96 billion alone the first quarter of 2022 on virtual reality. This is the future they are trying to make happen ASAP. While the bulky headset and price point has locked many out of VR, they are playing the long game. As the years march on and this turns into something like ski goggles and then glasses, you'll see even more adoption of this technology. It's kind of an inevitability and they know this. As inflation kicks up and the wars and the continued struggle of the average citizen increasingly gets worse, a safer, softer place will be found in technology. You won't need a physical TV, it'll just be a $1 hologram from some high school kid halfway across the world. Hail Mark yes. Zuckerberg! Okay. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Dude, this world is so much cooler oh than the other ones! After chilling around for a while, I actually ran into like an entire family in VR, which was just really weird, but they were super cool. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. Excuse you. <laughs> My yeah, I don't know him. My brother. Hey. Hi, brother. Hey, you're the parents. These are the kids? We're the parents. No way! That's well, two of the kids. No way. And the other kid just disappeared. This is a so family parents, right here with own. two kids in VR? No way. For real? Well, there'll be a third. He just left. Are you guys all in the same house? <laughs> yeah, we're yep. in the same room. The That's same why it's kind of echoey. How do you not run into each other? <laughs> It's the living room. While we're room. playing this. So it's a creative outlet for the family? Oh yeah, yeah, we build worlds together. Wow. I would love he to does, see one of these worlds, maybe. The coding, you know, there's, there's different, uh, yeah. So you guys learn a lot from, so you guys would say this is a positive experience for you guys. Oh yeah, absolutely, yeah. Um, and the kids, cool, so this is part of their how goofy education. is it seeing your dad in VR like this? Doesn't he look like he, some 70s washed up rock star. I mean, look at this. <laughs> I don't know what, he's, he okay. just changed his hair. It was a yeah, lot better. We usually look like ourselves. Yeah, yeah. this is the first time I, I've ever changed I my look avatar. Like <laughs> How do you feel as a mother knowing that this is the future we're going into? Some people say go outside, some people say this and that and blah blah. I think no matter where you send, where you send your kids, they're gonna run into a lot of different kind of people with different kind of views. And this is a safer way my kids can interact with other people. Less risk. And I can be here with them. Yeah. After hanging out with this new virtual Kardashian family for a while, who were very kind and awesome. Uh, it was a pleasure. Thank you guys. I appreciate that. Yeah. I ended up moving on to accomplish more of my goals. Sure that the metaverse is real. And part of one of my goals is to ensure that I can kill somebody in VR. Can I pretend to kill you? We could take you to a world where I could shoot you. Sure. I was now in like a weird situation where I was being extremely polite to somebody who was about to shoot me because he was helping me accomplish one of my dumb goals. This is in the actual world. This is this where, is where you kill like people. To have our meetings and stuff. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna go grab the gun. I'll be right back. Okay. Thank you. And in short order, he returned with a glorious Glock. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna die instead of me killing somebody. That's fine. All right, so any final words or like anything you want me to say? I was supposed to ask you that. Any final words? <laughs> How funny would it be when you're trying to kill somebody and they're like, is there anything you want me to say? <laughs> <laughs> like, do you want it like quick or like, do you want to suffer a little bit? I'd like to really get a good shot in the fucking head. Just shoot me in the fucking face. Oh my god! This is what it's like to die. I gave up on trying to buy a house in the metaverse pretty quick. It was just stupid. Are you uh, potentially a realtor for this estate? No, I'm not. Can you pretend to be? <laughs> <laughs> As my night was winding down, I realized I hadn't done all my goals. That was fine, but I did have one bonus goal that I did hit. Yeah, this bonus goal, my buddy Tanner, who's a genius, but also an idiot, so it kind of cancels itself out. He's back to just being my friend. Mentioned. Oh, you can't even see the branding. It's Sweet Baby Ray's. Um, Zuckerberg's favorite. He's always awkwardly posing with this sauce, so. 
Let's uh, cheers to the man himself, Zuckerberg Tanner, um, and let's, you know, have, um, <laughs> Pretty good, but that was not dignifying in any way. And then it was time to hit the hay for the night. You know, I drew up my spot right in the middle of the plaza near the basketball court and, you know, completely in public, just laid down like some fool in a mid in town square of a medieval village. Okay, now I know what it looks like. I forgot to pan the camera down while I was sleeping, okay? But I swear to you, I did it. I, I, I've done it every other time in every other video with footage, and I, it wasn't any different this time. I spent the night. Did I learn anything by spending a bunch of time in Zuckerberg's metaverse? Yes. Finally, I did learn something. I learned how to stuff some boxing up my ass in case I'm ever imprisoned. I boofed it! <laughs> no, seriously. While this isn't what the actual metaverse will be, I was impressed by the variety of people I came across. Whatever you have to say about Metacaren, it was odd to be interacting with a middle-aged woman who would normally be someone's grandma in virtual reality. While VR has the potential to isolate an ever-growing group of people, it also has the potential to bring people together like that family I met. For them, it's an extremely positive thing, and I wasn't expecting that. Like any technology, the future metaverse will be a double-edged sword that we should approach with caution. I just hope if Facebook does take over the world with this, I can at least find a well-reasoned person at any place or time to blow my nose through the back of my skull with a gun. <laughs> I'll update the comments at some point with a link to the podcast I'm launching soon. And as always, thanks for watching.